Hey guys, it's Al. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a set of microphones I just got. I'm super excited about this. For years I've been using other people's overhead condenser microphones. I've got a cheap old pair of overhead condensers I borrowed and I've been using those on gigs but they started hissing and popping. And the problem with pencil overhead condensers is that they can get really pricey and you need good quality because a poor quality set you're just going to have to replace later on and you're going to hear the difference. They're going to be thin, they're not going to have a lot of body, um, they're going to sound amateur. But I just got a great deal on a set of Rode M5 match pairs. Now, Rode is an Australian company uh, who I've been pleased to uh, work with uh, for my streaming setup right over there on my big streaming computer is a Rode Pod mic. For $99, that thing is nearly the equivalent of the uh, Shure SM7B, which is the industry standard for broadcast microphones. And it's built like a tank, and I'm very pleased with it. So the Rode M5 match pair usually retails for about $200. And that's at a pretty good uh, budget price point, but for a very well reviewed set of microphones. I looked at the Behringer's, uh, the, that match pair, match pair, uh, about $50 review said you're gonna wanna upgrade. Uh, Lix Pro, comes in a really nice case for $99 and you can switch out the capsules. Again, the review said you're going to want to upgrade. Then I was looking at the Lewitt um, uh, 040 match pair and those get really great reviews. Uh, and then the, uh, for $149 and then these are at $199 usually. Well, Amazon had a sale on them for $149 and I happen to have $70 of credit. So with tax and everything, these came just about $90 out. And that was a great steal. So I snapped them up and I'm excited to dig into this set and tell you what I think about them. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this uh, set of roads. By the way, um, Amazon Fulfillment Services, big, uh, big mistake here this box came with no tape on it whatsoever i was surprised that my stuff was still in it when i got it so in this little tray you get the microphones themselves they are packaged in these little plastic baggies by the way do not eat these little baggies of desiccant please you get an isle of road sticker Where's my uh, emergency kit that I did in the other video? There we go. Good to go. Okay, here's a little certificate saying that this indeed is a matched pair. And it's actually hand signed by a road employee. Uh, but they are standing behind what they're saying and it says, they are a hand-selected match pair selected to have a sensitivity closer than plus or minus one decibel to each other. And a decibel is a measure of when you can hear a difference in volume or sound pressure. Here is a little instruction booklet. And when I say little, it's like a half inch thick, but that's partially because it's got uh, the instructions uh, in like seven different languages. So if you cannot read this instruction booklet, I think they have more languages on their website. Then we also get a couple of these uh, XLR blue ring inserts. And I'll be honest, I have no idea what these do. I think these are used on the XLR plugs themselves. Now I'm much smarter. It says, if your mic cable is loose when connected, you insert the blue ring into the microphone plug and this will actually tighten it up so that the uh, jack doesn't wiggle around uh, and weaken your pins and make noise. 
So this is a step above right here. This is a great piece of quality control and it costs them maybe a couple of cents to put into the kit. But wow, what, what an improvement of quality of life this is for a working musician. Then you've got a couple of really, really fantastic quality mic clips. These actually have um, like a locking swivel with a little handle that you can really torque down and tighten so that the uh, clip actually shouldn't, should be fairly hard to move. This is a professional quality mic clip right here. I'm here to tell you this is really nice. Uh, you notice that the, uh, the threaded insert also has an adapter. So you can put this on different threaded uh, mic stands, for example, um, like the uh, boom mic stand I have over here for my streaming setup. A really, really nice quality. Let's just check the fit and see how well one of these microphones uh, pops into the clip. Uh, I'm just going to pause here and say these are classy looking little microphones. They're solid. Everything I've ever handled from Rode just feels solid. It feels like it's made to last. And this is no exception. Everything you see here is just a piece of metal. Uh, even the uh, grill, which in lesser microphones would be plastic or something, or nylon or something weak, this is metal as well. Uh, you can tell it's really, really well made. It is screwed, not riveted. So you have a chance to take this apart and actually fix it if something goes wrong. And as far as mic clips, it's a little tight, I will say. That's okay, I'd rather have it a little tight than loose. And look at that, look at this compact little unit that's gonna hang over your drums. Isn't that sexy right there? That's a very sexy little pencil condenser microphone. And if you are outside and you need a windscreen, guess what? They got you covered, comes with the windscreens. You do not need to go buy aftermarket windscreens and hope they work with these microphones. They just come with, how cool is that? Everything here is really cool. There's only one thing they have not done in this package I wish they had done. And that is, there is no carry bag. There is no carry case, there's nothing. I suppose, I mean, the, the little insert here will pop out and it's like this textured, uh, extruded cardboard recycled thing. And kudos to you for, uh, you know, helping with environmental uh, causes and everything. This is not sturdy enough for, um, you know, transport around. If you pop it in the box, it's pretty good. It'll certainly keep the microphone safe and everything, but it is not like a, you know, like a gig case or anything for these microphones. So that is what that is. I'm probably going to repurpose some of my old microphone bags to uh, carry these things in. Um, that some of the older uh, microphones went in before. But as far as the finish, and the quality of what I've got here in the package. Very happy. Uh, it looks professional, feels professional. It feels like it's made like a tank and it should last. So anyway, now we're at the church and we're gonna run a little bit of AB comparison between the roads uh, and the uh, mics here at the church. Now, I had looked at these mics before i thought i knew what they were i thought they were universal sp ones because they're very small just like the roads kind of the cylinder shape and a little grill on the end turns out they're octava uh mk 12s or mark 12s i guess that means um these things are actually like 200 to 250 dollars per microphone so a matte set of these is going to cost somewhere in the neighborhood of 500 dollars so this microphone, one of these microphones right here, costs as much as the two roads together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put the Octavas up and the roads up. 
I am going to cut a couple of bars uh, with all the drum mics on and the octavas and the roads mixed in as overheads. And then I'm going to crank the gain a little and just capture the kit with just the octavas and just the roads. Let's see if these mics for half the price and actually a quarter of the walkaway price for me are going to hang with these more expensive microphones. Well, I'm not sure what I expected out of this A-B test. I mean, to a certain extent, a well-mixed microphone is a well-mixed microphone. Uh, I was really surprised, first of all, at how you really couldn't tell much of a difference, uh, at least on this recording, between the quality of the uh, more expensive Octavas and the Rhodes. They sound just fine. And then when we isolated the overheads, and I just ran overheads on the shot. Uh, I actually preferred how the roads captured the entire kit. The Octavas didn't catch as much of the low end from the toms and the bass, a little bit more brittle. The roads were nice and warm, uh, a fuller sound. So uh, that's part of my uh, takeaway from this experience is if you got limited means, but you still want a very good sound that's gonna last you well into your recording career, uh, you can do a lot worse than the Rode M5 match pair. I've got my uh, Rode M5s right here. Uh, I actually took one of my old Audix pouches and uh, both of them fit very nicely in here. Uh, they don't clank around too much. The windscreens are in there too, so it's a nice little tight package. Um, phrasing. I've also taken those really, really nice mic clips and I've put them on a stereo bar and they're over there in my mixer bag so that when I go to band rehearsals, I can just grab one mic stand, not to not upset my musician friends, just throw up my overheads and they're doing a great job of capturing the kit. As a matter of fact, uh, I did use these roads uh, at rehearsal last week, so I had a kind of an inkling coming into this AB how nice they're going to be, uh, but the guys were pleased, I was pleased. There's pleasure all around with the Rode M5s. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little review. Remember, uh, like, subscribe, enable your notifications, and I will catch you next time. Thanks very much for watching.